As you know, the Earth has been destroyed in a nuclear holocaust during a civil war between nuclear historians and nuclear holocaust deniers. You have been handpicked to colonize and populate a new planet to keep humanity alive. That planet is Uranus. No, not the Uranus you're thinking of, a brand new one capable of sustaining life that has been discovered light years away. Why call it Uranus? Well, because New York in America was named after York in England after being purchased and colonized by the English. And this Uranus is named because this game was written by an eight-year-old. You have just awakened from cryogenic sleep after passing through a wormhole in a vast and dangerous corner of the universe. Traverse this stretch of space to reach your new home. You are the best of the best. Well, maybe the best of the people that aren't dead yet. Good luck and science speed in the game Wormhole to Uranus. This is a party drinking role playing game for 21 years old and up players. Uh, this game can be played with a variety of players and is basically a game in which you're going to role play and drink your way to victory. Start at Earth and move across the wormhole as you go through 25 different cards of tasks that will either be for you, a solo mission, a team mission, or your entire crew. Attempt to not fail the challenges that are presented in front of you. If you get three fails in the game, you're out, you're done, you're not playing no more. And if you can manage to survive with your captain landing the spaceship safely on Uranus, you will succeed. There are a variety of the other ways the game will end and a variety of crew members that you could be while playing the game Wormhole to Uranus. Good luck. To begin the game, decide how many number of players you're playing with and then give every single player one of these player cards. Each of them is going to be a different character. This one here being the useless rich one. They're all going to have a specific bio as well as their stats, whether it be strength, intelligence, skill, charisma, or luck. Some will be good, some will be bad, some will be meh, depending on your stats. Additionally, you're gonna have quirks. Some quirks are going to change the way you play the game, but most of them are going to basically have you acting out the character in different ways, whether you're the bounty hunter, always looking away into space, never really participating unless you know what's good for you and you receive something in benefit. Or Maybe you're playing as, I don't know, the debutante where you're kind of like more prissy and more like power, you know, power hungry. Each of these characters have their own unique style and you're kind of having to work with them. And if you don't play the game as it is intended based on your character, you'll have to drink. Set the Earth and the Uranus boards down and then shuffle the deck of Wormhole Uranus cards and deal out 25, connecting them all from Earth to Uranus. Go ahead and then take one of these ship uh, placement cards here and write the ship name, write each player's uh, name down as well as their actual character name, and then as the game goes on, the fails associated with the characters. After you've done that, set the timer aside, and of course the die, you'll be needing that. Choose somebody to be the captain of the ship, and hopefully if they don't fail, they'll be continuing to be the captain, otherwise I'll have to pass it along, and proceed to playing the game. It's very simple, very straightforward, get from here to here, but I'll explain the game now. To begin the game, have the captain go ahead and draw the first card from the wormhole. This whole thing makes up the wormhole, and the captain just takes one card, draws it, and reads it. Three types of missions. You have the single missions, you have the dual missions, and the crew missions. If you fail a mission, you are going to take a fail. If a crew takes a mission fail, then the captain will take a fail, and the captain will have to pass their captain a card to the right whenever they fail or a crew mission is failed, because the captain is always responsible for when it is a team mission or when they themselves fail. And they're going to ask you to do different things. When it's a crew mission, everybody works together. This one here is called... Uh, you're obviously a bunch of ragtag space renegades, uh, but today you're more tag than rag. Draw the, the card. Um, the timer, take this card, and that person is it. And then, of course, uh, you're going to flip the timer over, and you're going to actually play tag. So you'll flip this guy over, and you'll go, tag, you're it. Um, he'll go, tag, you're it, and back and forth, back and forth. When the timer runs out, you're going to read the bottom. The bottom is going to tell you if you pass or if you fail. And in this case, it's either you're not it or you are it. And if you are it, there's something that's going to happen to you that potentially will make you uh, have a fail. After a player is finished drawing a card and succeeding or failing, and if it's the captain passing their card, the next player will draw their card, and so on and so forth. Reading these guys out, a solo mission that says it's going to be the player on their right, so this player is going to read to the other player a mission. The ship flew way too close to a solar flare and things started to heat up around the quarters. Put your drink in the microwave for 40 seconds, but don't put metal in the microwave. And if you pass, you get this, and if you fail, you get this. And if that player succeeds, they're going to get a success card, one of these guys here. If they fail, mark it down on the sheet over here and continue going. 
Another interesting thing with this game is the captain is the one that gets to choose a rule for the game. Much like games like King's Cup and other drinking games, you can choose things like you can't use swear words or you can't uh, say drink, drank, or drunk are the very common ones, right? Or you could change the rule up. Whenever you become a new captain, you can keep the previous rule and add a new one, or you can forego the previous rule and make up your own rule. And so rules can kind of accumulate throughout the game or change throughout the game depending on how generous the captain is feeling. And players are trying to get across the wormhole drawing cards and as these cards go so does the wormhole passing you through all of it to get to Uranus. When uh, the card Uranus has been to uh, toppled or reached then you'll flip this guy over and you'll read what it says. Generally speaking what's going to happen is the captain is going to basically have everybody to make a check. The captain will have to try and land the ship, the engineer is going to have to try and make sure that the ship isn't overheating etc etc and if the captain fails the ship doesn't land and everybody crashes and burns except for the players that had zero fails in the game. If the captain succeeds in landing the ship, luckily, then everybody else will have the opportunity to survive as well. And if you ever get three outs, you're just done. This is a cooperative drinking style game where everybody is trying to make it to the end and succeed while also causing each other some pain and shenanigans along the way. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple, wormhole to Uranus. In the link down below in the description, I'll tell you what I think about it now. This is the first drinking game I've played that has a bit of role playing mixed in with kind of cards and actions and party mechanics and of course uh, drinking. Uh, this game is meant for players that are 21 years of age and older. Probably wouldn't be as fun without the ability to include drinking because there's a ton of aspects to the game that involve drinking. Drawing a card and telling you to put your drink in the microwave and it just being water. It's not as interesting as if it were beer or some mixed drink. Well, I doubt you'd want to drink a hot pina colada. So there's like certain aspects to that. There's also some unique challenges. We actually did a live stream which I'll maybe post up uh, one of these areas here so you can actually see what it looks like. But it has some unique little aspects to it where you're trying to like do activities that would involve you having to get up and move around and do fun stuff like that. Some games forcibly make you do certain things that kind of bother me. I'm not really a big fan of um, make you say certain things or speak in a certain way. This one actually does it in more of a relaxed manner and there's like certain times of hype and a lot of times of just doing the uh, uh, different objectives and achievements. You're also going to be taking part in kind of a D&D &D aspect to the game where you roll die, try to succeed a mission. You need intelligence for this mission. You have to get a five up because that's what your character requires and you roll and you get an eight and bam, you succeed that mission. And it has a mix of that, mix of role play, utilizing your character as much as you want and of course making house rules if you need to for certain reasons uh, players can play and not drink and it's still going to be fun but I definitely think this is one of those games where you're gonna want to have a little bit of a uh, spirits in order to play uh, or maybe there could be a narrator maybe somebody who doesn't drink a designated driver they can narrate the game and read out the things to each of the players so it gives them something to do as well the timer events are fun too there's random things that make you happen to have to do like running out to your uh, mailbox and back before the timer runs out and it'll just happen instantly and of course things like dragging your friend from the table all the way to the bathroom and it kind of coincides with the game's story and lore and you feel like you're part of the game trying to accomplish the mission to get from, to, from earth to uranus uh, the new uranus because the game was made by five-year-olds, I guess. A lot of comic um, aspects to the game. It's humorous. I laughed throughout the, the game. And, of course, I like the different characters. Uh, some of them can, I guess, get a little bit obnoxious after a while, having to speak in third person for a long period of time or always using an accent. If the game maybe lasts more than an hour, having to do that with your voice might... Uh, Maybe worth having a drink or two to avoid having to continuously do that. But overall, the characters are a lot of fun. They're unique, they're quirky, and uh, I would suggest if you don't like a character, to just simply switch it to a different one. Or um, if there's a card in the game that you really don't, don't want to play for some reason or another, you can switch that out as well. There's adult humor and adult context in the game as well, which is also another reason why it wouldn't be for kids. Uh, but otherwise, if this is your type of game, it's going to be directly for you. I have a lot of friends that I know, Josh specifically, bought this game the moment we finished playing it and his fiance. People might, might like my friend Zach and Joey. These guys are game partiers. They enjoy drinking. They enjoy games like this. This is something that I could easily bring to their house. It's something that they would easily get into and it provides a little bit more context and entertainment and different varieties other than something like King's Cup which is very very straightforward. Uh, this has a wider variety and kind of pushes the gaming element a little bit more. 
overall for me, it's a solid party game. It's something that's only going to hit the play when I'm at parties and of course when I have the right specific niche group of people who enjoy games like this and of course enjoy drinking, but I can easily see this being a game for a lot of party goers, for a lot of people who want to play with a large, a large amount of players in a group. <laughs> this is a game I could easily see you probably even playing, I guess, 10 players. I don't really even think there's a... Uh, a number, it says four to eight recommended, but you can have a maximum of 10 players. And you could probably play with three or less. Uh, I would actually suggest more players. More is always going to be more fun. There's more craziness going on, and of course, more laughter. Um, the negative, I guess, is whenever it tells you to post online something or do something like that online, it's something I would never be able to do because of, well, what I do is for a business and uh, wouldn't be a. Uh, uh, it was a smart idea of saying something, I don't know, political or whatever it might tell you to do. I'm not, there's some of them in here that do that. This is very, very rare. I think it only happened once for our gameplays, but nevertheless, it's in there. Uh, regardless, though, if you're interested in taking a look at the game Wormhole to Uranus, I strongly suggest it for you party goers out there, for you guys willing to kind of let yourselves go and make a big mess of yourself, joking around and having fun. This one was fun. You see it up here as I posted some of the different uh, links to our live stream. We had a fun time playing this one and you might too tell me what you think down below in the comments link down below in the description where you can also pick up the game on kickstarter thank you guys for watching another unfiltered gamer board game review if you like this video check out the rest of our videos here on youtube like subscribe and of course uh hit that bell notification button it greatly does help us out we really appreciate when you do that we have more videos to show you and more playthroughs coming out you can also check out our live streams every sunday 6 30 p.m pst where we play games just like this one and in fact we did play this one um every sunday you can join us and of course you can patron us for a dollar a month it helps us produce more content it helps us do our live streams and pay for the different things on uh you know $15 a month for uh, the stream labs and etc etc we do giveaways as well anyway guys uh, thank you so much for watching I appreciate it and if you're interested in the game do go ahead and take a look at it for you party goers out there I think you'll have a great time with this one anyway thank you and as always I look forward to escaping with you in a wormhole to Uranus next time